they're two very separate models for football and kabaddi. I think the biggest drawback we have in kabaddi is our stadiums are very small. A traditional kabaddi stadium is anything between um, 2,000 to 5,000 spectators. That obviously goes to show that um, your gate receipts are not going to be that substantial as compared to say a cricket where you have an Eden Garden which is 100,000. Um, and that 2,000 to 5,000 seater, you cannot outprice the tickets by charging even say 500 a seat. Uh, that kind of pricing out the, the entire sport, I think. Um, so the majority of your income in Kabaddi is coming through sponsorship and from the central pool. So that's something you have to concentrate on for Kabaddi. Uh, it's the complete opposite in football, where you can bank on your paid receipts uh, and your merchandising and your fan activation to be a huge uh, revenue generating force. So you have to be um, look at both of them uniquely and separately uh, in terms of Kabaddi because um, the buy-in to Kabaddi was a lot more modest compared to football. I, I'd like to believe that this year most franchises should be able to turn it around, which is fantastic. But that's entirely due to the fact that the sport became so popular. Uh, so I do, I do see a huge amount of interest from the sponsors for Kabaddi this year. Kabaddi also is a very television-friendly sport, and let's be very honest. At the end of the day, it's all television today. So um, it's a very television-friendly sport because it's it's 40 minutes and you're done. 20 minutes first half, five minute break. 20 minutes second half, and you're and it's done. Today. Uh, the most popular form of cricket for, uh, from a fan perspective is the IPL and that's the three and a half hour match. So, um, you know, I think Kabaddi lends itself to the television format very well. I think Star did a fantastic job in packaging the whole event. Uh, football is again 90 minutes as a legacy of great fan following. Uh, the most encouraging thing for me um, for football was to see in a place like Chennai, which traditionally isn't a footballing market, uh, to have an average attendance of about 22, 23,000 people in a 25,000 seater. Um, that's very encouraging. Uh, I would pay more attention to the actual attendance in our stadiums in football than to maybe the TRPs because I feel those are the fans that are being built for the future. Um, so they're completely different models that you have to look at. See, I think because it was the first time Kabaddi was being televised, there was no. Um, there was no faith in it, there was no confidence in it and I think once they saw the product and how popular it became, I think all the, the market has warmed up to it and said, okay, this is something we want to put our money on. And being television friendly and having staff backing it the way they are, uh, there's a huge amount of interest and the, the hike in certain cases is, is more than 100%. Well, currently, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to sign 50 more films to finance those, but uh, um, I'd love to. Um, I'd love to do something with basketball. Um, I don't think that's going to happen in the near future in terms of a league setup, but um, I'd love to do something with basketball. Um, as of right now, um, I'm pretty, you know, busy with not only my films, but with Kabaddi and football as well. Um, but that's something I'm just going to have to wait to see if it happens. Uh, for the next 12 months, I don't think there's going to be anything. I'd love to, but um, right now, in the immediate future, I don't see anything happening. There's an immense amount of groundwork that goes into putting together a league. Um, what I said inside is that all the eight franchises in the Pro Kabaddi League are, um, are okay with the idea of having a women's Pro Kabaddi League. They all feel that that's something we should do. Um, now it's up to the Kabaddi Federation and obviously uh, everybody to put their heads together and work towards it. The intention is there and that's the most important. They are working towards it. Um, but there's no time frame. You know, that's what we thought in the first season, but the uh, majority of our TRPs came from the metros. And uh, the majority, and almost 50% of our viewership were women and children. Uh, so that kind of threw out a lot of preconceived notions that we had about Kabaddi. Like I mentioned uh, during the conference as well, uh, the Kabaddi is as widely played within our metro cities as it is in, in, in the rural areas, in tier 2, tier 3 cities. Um, some people can have that kind of approach to have a completely different marketing um, uh, concept and strategy for um, different centers. Um, I found it to be that um, in season one, as far as Jaipur Pink Panthers are concerned, that um, a universal marketing theme did work across the board for us. So we're going to stick with that.